Hi folks, I'm Jed from The Village Geek, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Machi Koro. Alright guys, so in Machi Koro, your goal is to build all four of these developments. So let's look at those really quick. We have the train station. Uh, when you complete it, you may roll one or two dice instead of just one. The shopping mall, uh, which says uh, each of your restaurant and food establishments earn plus one coin. I'll get into these in a little bit. The amusement park, which says if you roll doubles, take another turn after this one. And the radio tower, which says once every turn you can choose to re-roll your dice. Um, so obviously this is a city building game, this is one of my favorites. Um, you do not have to build these developments in order. You can start with the radio tower if you really wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do that. However, once you build all four of those, uh, you win at the end of your turn. Now, you're going to start out, each player is going to start out with a uh, wheat field and a bakery. Uh, and we'll get, in, get into those here in a little bit. Um, and so, all you're going to do on your turn is you're going to roll one six-sided die. And then you are going to use your coins to purchase these establishments that are out here in the middle. Uh, now, really quick, on the, more on the setup here. Uh, I have actually set this up for, uh, set this game up using the, the Harbor Expansion Rules, which I highly, highly recommend. The, uh, the Harbor Expansion Rules, instead of just putting all of the establishments out available to all players, what you're going to do is you're going to start flipping over establishment cards until you have 10 unique establishments out. If you have more than one of the same establishment, for example, we have two of the cheese factories, then you just stack them on top of each other and you, you keep flipping cards until you have 10 unique uh, establishments. Now, if, you, if somebody were to buy this ranch, we'll put out another card and it's a cafe, we just put another cafe out and then we keep going until we have uh, another establishment. So now we have a TV station, which is not out right now, so we would just put that in an empty space and you can readjust that to organize them by cost. Um, so, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll the die and you are going to pr produce income uh, based on the establishments you have in front of you. So right now we just have a wheat field and a bakery. So uh, the, in this case, the bakery would produce one income for me because it says get one coin from the bank on your turn only. And so let's talk about what the different, different establishments, uh, how they produce income. So the... Uh, the bakery it's a, it's uh, produces income on on a roll of a two or a three, and because it's a green card, all of the green card establishments they all produce income. You get income from the bank on your turn. That means meaning you have to roll that number. The blue cards all work the same way, and if, for example, the wheat field you have to roll or somebody has to roll one but you can get one coin from the bank on anyone's turn. And so the blue cards, are, are uh, they allow you to collect money from the bank uh, on anybody's turn. So if even if somebody across the table rolls a one, I get one income for my wheat field. Okay, the red, the red cards uh, are, they are when somebody, you produce, they, you, you get income or you get money from those establishments when somebody else rolls that number. So for example, a cafe, you get one coin from the player who rolled the dice. Now, um, let's talk about the purple ones. The purple ones are called uh, monuments. They have this little symbol here. That means that you can, only, uh, you can only have one monument of each type. So for example, I can only have one TV station, I can only have one stadium, etc., etc. Uh, but the monuments collect, they, get, they produce income for you. You take them from other people when you roll the dice. So it's the opposite of the red ones. So the stadium says take five coins from any one player on your turn only. Uh, and that is when you roll a six on your turn. So the, the order uh, of what produces can sometimes matter. So the blue and the green establishments produce income, uh, I'm sorry, the red establishments produce income first, then the green and the blue, 
and then the purple. After, uh, so, so the purple establishments are typically the most expensive, but they also uh, are really, really good because they, they activate after everything else is activated. So somebody might get, like if you rolled a, uh, let's say somebody had a, a blue card uh, that, and you roll a six, well, if they produce something on a six, then you get to take money after they produce. So the purple cards are, are very effective. Um, so after you roll the die and you produce income and people steal income from each other, you can either purchase an establishment from what's out, replacing it as soon as you do, uh, and you can only purchase one establishment, or you can purchase one of the uh, development cards that you have. Uh, so if you purchase the train station or build the train station by spending four coins, then you get the effect uh, on later turns. And as soon as you build all four of your development cards, then the game is over. And so uh, that is Machi Koro.